Hi, this is Mr. Mark, and I'm going to show you how to create a file structure in your Google Drive. Now, you might be asking, what is Google Drive? Well, Google Drive is uh, like a hard drive, but it's in the cloud. And when I say in the cloud, I mean it's on a computer that you access to over the Internet. And the computer belongs to Google, so it's the Google Cloud. So when you're accessing Google Drive, you're accessing Google's computers. Uh, your section of it anyway so how do we get to it so if we open up uh, our Google Chrome and we go to our apps launcher that's what these buttons are up here and you open it up by clicking on the icon and this is it now the top level of Google Drive is my drive and you can see it says my drive right up here you can't go any higher than this now on the left side you have a place to create files, create folders, and uh, uh, for whatever purpose you're gonna do. Now the next one is shared drive, and this is a special drive that you can share with uh, your friends or your teachers or whoever else, whoever you're gonna share files with, you would create shared files. If somebody shares a folder or a file with you, you can find it here. And your most recent ones are here. And anything you star is here. And anything you throw away is here. And how much storage you have on your computer is here. Now we have Google for Education accounts, so it's pretty much unlimited storage. So you don't have to worry about, oh well, you're, you're running out of room. Now let's go back here. Now this is the file structure you're going to create. It says Classroom, NIS, and Other. So uh, let's look real quick. So you can see here, we have the Google folder structure. We have My Drive, and then we'll have a Google Classroom, NIS, and Other. And then you'll have your grades, and then you'll have your classes. And in each class, you'll put whatever file you're going to put there. Okay, so let's go back to our Google Drive structure here that we're looking at. So just like before, I showed you, here we have NIS, Other in Classroom. And if I open that up, I have my grades here. So let's say I'm going to add a grade because you're not going to stay in the same grade forever. So I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Grade 9. And there it is. So inside my Grade 9 class, I create my classes. Now, once you get all your classes together, you'll just add uh, folders to them as you get assignments from your teachers. For example, you might have an, another one that says Google Sites. And you create a folder just by clicking on it. Uh, or you might have a, a Google Supply Digital Skills and you'll just right click or you'll click here and you'll add a new folder now if you have something on your computer you can upload it by clicking here or just by dragging it from one from someplace else and dropping it inside one of the folders so let me create another folder and i'm going to call this um, uh, gads gad stands for google's applied digital skills and we'll use that a lot this year Okay, so uh, that is the structure. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.